Well, pilot shortages have been plaguing airlines worldwide for almost two years as the industry continues to face a deficit. And there is growing concern as airlines are heading into the busy summer travel season. NBC's Tom Costello has more. Countdown to the summer getaway and don't expect an open middle seat. It's shaping up to be another season of crowded airports and packed planes. Good morning. How you doing? The head of the TSA tells Bloomberg the agency is preparing for a record number of air passengers throughout the summer, comfortably above pre-pandemic numbers. With airports in Orlando, Dallas, Houston, and East Coast hubs all expected to be the busiest. With demand surging, American Airlines is joining Delta and United in temporarily cutting back some flights into New York airports, citing air traffic controller shortages. It follows a nationwide pilot shortage, which has been easing in recent months as the major carriers ramp up hiring and training. Still, many regional airlines are struggling to find enough pilots, as some in the industry call for changing pilot qualification and training standards to address the shortage. The head of the Airline Pilots Association says that is a non-starter. This is no time to weaken safety standards. We visited United's Flight Training Center in Denver last year, where the airline trains new and veteran pilots around the clock. You're hitting the wind shear a little bit, so... Yep, all right, wind shear going around. The FAA requires pilots to go through simulator training every nine months, honing their skills and preparing for the unlikely emergency. Meanwhile, pressure is building on Southwest Airlines after that technical glitch on Tuesday caused nearly 2,500 airline flights to be delayed. Southwest says data connection issues were to blame. But it follows its meltdown last December when outdated systems led to more than 16,000 of its flights being canceled, 2 million passengers stranded. So what can you do to prepare for travel this summer? Given the flights are already filling up, experts say buy your tickets now. Hopper.com reports domestic summer airfares will be nearly 18% more expensive than in 2019 pre-pandemic. All right, well, don't go anywhere. We have another half hour of news and weather coming up. Stay